See how this paper produces some smoke. And now I'm going to bring this over. And what you should be noticing is the smoke is being drawn down into this chimney. So hopefully that shows up on the video. Okay, so the smoke is being drawn down. So think about this. Why is smoke going down, well that uh, indicates that air is also being drawn down into this chimney. So the candle inside is um, producing heat. So what do you think would happen if I instead switch the smoke to the other side? I hope you can see how as it goes over this, you can see, so here's the smoke as I enter over this. It's being pushed up by the hot rising air. So we have hot rising air coming up over the candle. The candle needs oxygen in order to burn. And so as this air is rising, replacement air or advection is going to cross the bottom. And then it's pulling down air from above. Okay, so you can see the air going down. And this air pushing that smoke up. Okay, the final thing that I want to do here in this demo is to actually cover this chimney, just a metal piece there. And so now I'd like you to predict, now that this is closed, what will happen when I place the smoke, smoking paper over this chimney. And I think you can see that that's no longer drawing down the smoke into the chamber because of course the heat has to have somewhere to escape. It's being locked here. So instead the heat will come out this way. 
Now this creates a problem for the candle because it's got competing, it's got one entrance to both expel the hot rising air that it's producing, but it also needs to draw in air for it to burn. And so uh, eventually, or if I wanted to snuff the candle out, I could just cover both chimneys and eventually the candle would burn all the oxygen and it would go uh, out. Okay, so let me again remove this and you can just see as the hot air will rise, now we can get the smoke being drawn down into the chain. Okay, so this cycle of this air being drawn down, hot air rising and coming up, that is a convection cycle. And we see those kind of uh, cycles on both a large planetary scale and also on a smaller scale. So that is.